Hello everyone, the topic of this video tutorial is about how to apply QSAR models in the toolbox. The toolbox comprises a large number of QSAR models for predicting various toxicological endpoints. In total there are over 250 such models that are provided with the installation of the toolbox. These models are listed in the data gap filling section. In addition to the models provided with the installation, the user can also download and use external QSAR models available on the Toolbox repository page. To see how to download models from the repository, please watch the respective video tutorial. In addition to running a model and retrieving predictions for the chemicals, Toolbox also allows you to create, edit, delete, import and export custom models. This video tutorial introduces the QSAR models section of the toolbox and shows how to apply them to the chemicals of interest. In general, one, several or all models can be applied to a single chemical or to a list of chemicals. Let's get started. To see the existing QSAR models, a chemical or a list of chemicals must first be loaded into the data matrix. In this example, we use a single chemical. Please add the chemical by its CAS number 28930-20-3. Now we need to go to the Data Gap Filling section and click on the QSAR button or select Execute from the drop-down menu. A new window appears with the general endpoint tree levels and the associated sublevels. The number of models linked to each sublevel is also displayed here. For example, seven models are associated with the PKA physical chemical property and five models with vapor pressure. There is an option to hide the endpoint tree levels without models applicable for them. To see more details about the models associated with a particular level we need to select the empty box of the corresponding level and confirm. Let us do this for the aquatic toxicity level. A table appears with a summary of the corresponding QSAR models. Various metadata are displayed in the table. The first column contains the name of each QSAR model, followed by the endpoint covered by the model, the effect, the duration, and other relevant metadata associated with the respective models. A filter function allows the user to filter the information in the column according to specific criteria. Let us apply the filter to the provider column and select the models provided by the US EPA. First we need to find the provider's column and click on the filter, unselect all and then select only United States Environmental Protection Agency. Finally, we need to confirm the selection. Now we see the models provided by the US EPA. To apply a single, multiple or all models to the chemical or chemical list loaded in the data matrix, we need to select them in the first column. We can easily select and unselect all models using the corresponding buttons at the bottom. Supporting information for each QSAR model, such as short description, domain information, QMRF, presence of a training and test set, can be displayed by the right-click menu that is invoked once a model has been selected in the table. Let us now apply all QSAR models associated with skin sensitization. To do this click on QSAR button, open Human Health Hazard Level, select Sensitization Sublevel and confirm selection. The table with the models for skin and respiratory sensitization is displayed. Let us now select only the models related to skin sensitization provided by the Danish EPA agency. For this purpose, we use the filter in the corresponding columns. Select only the Danish EPA provider and the endpoint skin sensitization. After that, select all filtered models using the Check All Models button, click on Predict Selected Chemical and wait for the result. We should also agree with agreement information, click Yes here. The predictions will appear in the data matrix indicated with a capital Q, which stands for QSAR. Information about the applicability domain is displayed in the data matrix together with the predicted value. Additional metadata about the prediction can be displayed by double-clicking on the cell with the predicted result. If the model cannot predict the chemicals, a red message appears in the data matrix. The QSAR prediction can be exported as a report or in an Excel file. The report associated with QSAR predictions has been reorganized in the Toolbox version 4.7 according to the principles of the QSAR assessment framework. To learn how to report a prediction, please watch the corresponding video tutorial. Congratulations! Now you are ready to learn more about the individual functionalities in Toolbox and how to use them. Contact QSAR Help Desk for technical questions. If your question concerns policy or regulatory acceptance of toolbox results within EU regulations PFECHA's competence, please refer to the ECHA website directly.